Did, did any of you ever stand on top of a, a tall building and sort of look down? What does it feel like? Fear. Huh? Fear. Huh? Okay, what does it feel like? Not what is it, how could you describe it? Mataji, what does it feel like? Yeah. But what does it feel like, the feeling? Where do you feel that? Do you, yeah. Oh, like your feet feel like feeling weird. And how do you describe like, does it feel like the heads get heavy? Yeah, it feels scared and heavy. Like, but what does it feel like? Yeah. It feels like you're on the edge, I guess. Yeah, okay, good, very good. Yes. You feel thrilled, kind of? Thrilled. Now there's a daring young man. <laughs> yeah. Now we thought you were a, a Brahmin, now you're a Chatriya for sure, we can see. Tell me more about what it feels like. Anyone done that? Huh? But where do, where do you feel it? In your feet. Yeah, that's where I feel. Yes? Did you ever have that experience? Feel, and it's like a terror enters your heart. This is the chakra of Krishna, actually. The time element. It's not intellectual, but it's, it's fearful. So, so, Kamsa was fearful, even though he was so powerful. He was proud. I am the best of kings. But he was afraid because Krishna was coming. And Krishna was playing. And then suddenly, while Krishna was by the Yamuna, they heard some music. That's coming from the computer, right? We need some, this one we need some really big speakers for. No, never mind, next time. The drums and the music, they were all playing this in a very enthusiastic, okay. No, okay, keep it going, it's okay. They were playing these, this, this music, like military music, to get everyone inspired about the, get the wrestlers especially inspired. So when Krishna and Balaram, when Krishna heard the drums playing, and now we're, we're turning to the, the beginning of the, the 43rd chapter of the Bhagavatam. Does anyone know what the, the 43rd chapter is? If the 44th chapter is called the killing of Kamsa, what's the, what's the 43rd chapter called? What's the 43rd chapter called? Dr. Cody, do you know? Yes. That's the one, that's the 41st. But good one, good one. What's the, well, you're going to find out. The deliverance of Kavali. Excuse me? The deliverance of Kavali Apita. Yes, except, except it's called the, Oh yeah, here in the, in, in the um, Krishna book, we call that, and here it's called um, Krishna Kills the Elephant. <laughs> so a little more straightforward. So, so Sukadev Goswami is narrating this, and who's listening? Now, I want you boys to listen very carefully and be ready to answer every single question. Raise your hands, though. Who's lit, who, who was Mara's... Oh. <laughs> who was Sukadev Goswami speaking to? Raise your hand. Yes. Maharaj yes. Gopal who? Very good, very good. So, so, he says, O chastiser of enemies, Krishna Balaram, having executed all necessary purification by the river Yamuna, bathing and, and, and doing whatever ceremonies they did. They heard, we'll try that again, they heard the drums sounding, the kettle drums resounding in the wrestling arena. And they went there to see what was happening. 
Now, Krishna was thinking, Kamsa still wants to continue this. Even though I've given him a glimpse of my power, I've killed the washerman, I've broken the bow, and still, and still, and still, he is keeping my parents in prison, Vasudeva and Devaki, in prison. So, we will show him more. So, they went there, Krishna Balaram and the cowboy boys went there to see what was happening. 